So, what are you going to do about the fact that some people are prejudiced? Do you think it should be illegal to say prejudiced things? If so, do you hold that same standard for all viewpoints, for all ideologies? Or do some ideologies and viewpoints get special treatment, preferential treatment? Do you think people should be able to say that white people suck, but people shouldn't be able to say that black people suck? And no, don't give me that intersectionality or the progressive stack as a reason why you think you can have different standards. When you do this, you're essentially saying, well, there's a theory that a lot of people in academia agree on, and so everyone should agree on this theory. Otherwise, they're a part of the problem, and they need to get educated. But it's not our job to educate them. Our job is to insinuate that they're terrible people for having those beliefs. That they're horrible people for being part of the problem. I mean, seriously, what do you think you're going to do to try to change people's prejudices? Do you think that if you shame them enough that they'll change their minds? Do you think that if you take away their livelihood, that if you take away their ability to make money, that they'll eventually change their beliefs because they're tired of the way they're treated? Do you think they'll just completely change their beliefs because life is so hard when they actually discuss their views? Do you think that if they were put in prison for a decade, that they'd come out of prison without those beliefs still? Do you think it'll change them? I mean, a lot of people do their best to hide their prejudiced views. They learn to keep it to themselves so they don't experience terrible repercussions. There are a lot of people out there who are very tolerant, but they have those prejudices, but they do their best to not put them on display. They don't feel the need to tell the world their prejudices, but they still have them. But many of those people are very tolerant. Tolerance. The word is tolerance. Tolerance doesn't mean full-on acceptance and approval. It doesn't mean that they're a 100% ally in every way possible. Tolerance is about tolerating not trying to get in the way of, not trying to hinder, not going out of your way to make people feel bad, not trying to make things unpleasant for people. That's tolerance. And honestly, that's about the best that people can expect. When tolerance is no longer considered good enough, then uh, here's we've had a problem. people lately aren't settling for just tolerance. As I hinted at earlier, people are demanding full-on acceptance and approval. They're demanding that people be a 100% ally in every way conceivable. And if you disagree with anything they say along the way, they'll call you a bigot of some sort. Really, people, be glad we've had some progress. I'm not saying be happy about injustices. I'm not saying to be 100% satisfied with the way things are. But I am saying that we should be happy that we've made progress. Sure. Since Trump got elected, and being not politically correct, and people being stuck in this whole fuck-your-feelings sort of mindset, yeah, the nasty old 30-year-old band-aid is being ripped off, and the disgusting, filthy, festering wound is being scrubbed out and properly sanitized, but we're still making progress. It doesn't feel like it right now, but we're still making progress. It's just a lot more clear as to how much progress we've actually made. At some point, we're going to have to accept that tolerance is really the best we can expect. The far left really needs to learn this. Now, this is one of the times that I'm going to use the word never that I, I normally don't. But you're never going to get people to change their minds. You're never going to get people to no longer be prejudiced by insulting them. That's just not going to work. Your insults aren't going to change them. It may make them shut up, but it's not going to change them. Of course, it's usually not going to make them shut up either. Oftentimes, it just makes people double down even more. But almost no matter what you do, you're probably not going to get them to change their views at all. Only that they should shut up about their views. And that's the main message. Shut up. We don't want to hear it. Keep that to yourself. As if that's some sort of celebration of diversity. The truth is, the more diverse we get, the more tolerant we're going to have to be. And yes, that means that as long as people aren't doing terrible things to other people, 
They have the right to hold intolerant beliefs. You don't have the right to take away people's livelihood because you don't like the way they think. You don't like their views. You don't like their beliefs. And the truth is, every mindset, every ideology, every demographic has prejudices. If we know we're not going to change people's minds by treating them poorly, how about we stop treating people poorly? And this goes for everyone. Taking the stance of, fuck your feelings, is not going to help anything. It's going to make things much worse. If you ask someone what their beliefs are, don't act all offended when they tell you what they actually are. After all, you're supposed to be celebrating diversity. As I mentioned earlier, though, when we have a president who has that fuck your feelings type of mindset, people are going to follow in those footsteps. And this, to me, is the most unfortunate thing about the Trump presidency. Anyway, 